Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfory.com. We have already discussed two videos on lipids. First one on classification of lipids. Then we have discussed fatty acids in five minutes. Now the third part that is glycerides, neutral glycerides and phosphoglycerides within five to ten minutes. At the end of the video, you will be able to understand what are glycerides, two types with examples, what are neutral glycerides with fatty acid as example, then what are phospholipids with phospholipid as example and the functions of fatty acids and phospholipids within 5 to 10 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin. As the term indicates, glycerides are glycerol containing lipids. Glycerides can be broadly classified into two, neutral glycerides and phosphoglycerides. Let's take the example of neutral glyceride. Fats and oils or triacylglycerides are neutral glycerides. As the term denotes, neutral glycerides are non-ionic and non-polar. Example is fats. Whereas phosphoglycerides, classical example is phospholipids, it is having a polar region or a phosphate containing head group and a non-polar fatty acid tail. We will be discussing the structure in detail. Let us begin with the structure of fats. This is glycerol as you can see. It is a 3 carbon compound with OH group at each carbon. Then this is the fatty acid. Fatty acids are long chain hydrocarbons with a COOH group or carboxyl group. This OH group of the first carbon of glycerol combines with fatty acid 1 by an ester linkage with the release of water. This OH and H that is released, water is released and the linkage formed is called as the ester linkage. This is the ester linkage O C double bond O. So the first carbon OH of the glycerol combines with fatty acid 1 with an ester linkage. The same thing happens with the second carbon. Fatty acid 2 combines with the second carbon OH of glycerol and the same thing happens with the third carbon also. The third carbon of glycerol the OH group combines with the carboxyl group of fatty acid 3 by ester linkage. So this is how fats are formed. In short, fats are made up of two types of small molecules. First one is glycerol and the second one is fatty acids. Glycerol is a 3 carbon alcohol with hydroxyl group attached to each carbon. A fatty acid consists of carboxyl group attached to a long chain hydrocarbon. In a fat, Three fatty acids 1, 2 and 3 are joined to one glycerol molecule by ester linkage forming triacylglycerol that is why it is called as triacylglycerol and fats are the most abundant lipids. Fats are solid at low room temperature whereas oils are liquid at room temperature. So we have discussed in detail about fatty acids saturated and unsaturated you can refer that also. So this is the schematic diagram. This is glycerol and to one glycerol molecule, three fatty acids are joined by ester linkage. That is why this is called as triacylglycerol. Triacylglycerol. Functions of fats. Fats are the richest source of energy. They provide insulation from heat, especially helpful for organisms living in cold climate also helps in protecting body organs. It is also involved in the transport of fat soluble vitamins. Now moving into the second part that is phospholipids. Phospholipids are fatty acid esters of glycerol phosphate. Let us see the structure. So this is glycerol. So two fatty acids are joined to glycerol and in the third OH group a phosphate is added along with an alcohol. This alcohol may vary like choline, ethanolamine, serine etc. So this is a detailed diagram. So you can see this is the hydrophobic tail and this is a glycerol molecule. 
so the two ester linkage you can see the two ester linkage that is bonded to the fatty acid molecule here then there is a phosphate group that is attached to the third carbon of glycerol a phosphate group is added that makes it hydrophilic or polar then there is an R group R group or side chain is an alcohol that can be choline ethanolamine or serine so this is a phospholipid so phospholipids are having a hydrophilic head group and a hydrophobic tail that is made up of fatty acids now moving into the functions of phospholipids phospholipids as we all know they are the most important constituent of cell membranes mitochondrial membrane er membrane golgi membrane and all membranes and making it selectively permeable it is involved in exocytosis endocytosis and also phagocytosis in the case of phagocytes like macrophages it is also involved in assembling and transporting of lipoproteins in blood recent reports suggest that it works as emulsifiers in the body to make missiles for efficient fatty acid absorption and finally it is having an important role of wetting of surfaces in joints and other parts of the body that requires smooth motion hope you got the point thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com please subscribe share and like this video